Hello everyone, and welcome back to Fallout 4 Modded. This is uh, part 8. I'm pretty sure we're close to the ending. Uh, last time we, uh, we found Sean. Sean, about this synth. You mean the child? It's a fascinating project, really. There are issues to be solved, of course, but we've made remarkable progress. Why build it? to look like you. We've advanced the technology behind since to a point where this struck me as an interesting variation. A new angle, if you will. Modeling it after myself seemed only natural, what with the Institute's records and my genetics and physiology. I'll make sure it's brought back online in the near future. You'll have an opportunity to interact with him further. But I'll admit I'm curious. As a parent looking for a child, looking for the younger version of me, what do you think? Do you think you could love him like you would a real boy? I don't need a synth. I found the real Sean. Yes, but not the Sean you were looking for. In some ways, the synth is far closer to what you expected. I wouldn't claim to know everything you're feeling, but... If in some small way the boy's presence can help... I hope you'll keep an open mind. Alright, well, we did that. Okay. Uh, man, it's dusty. Okay, so this is going upstairs. What's this thing? Hey, Doc. You know what happens when people get robots to do all their work? They get fat and lazy, that's what. Real people doing real thinking and real work. That's the future I want. People have no trouble getting fat and lazy on their own. A few, here and there, perhaps. But not on the scale I'm talking about. I can see you're having a joke at my expense. You're hardly the first. In any case, I suppose I should say, welcome. Perhaps a fresh perspective will do some good around here. Don't make excuses. You're clearly defective, and I intend to report this. Perhaps after you've been disassembled. Alright, so this is uh, pretty cool. Why are there so many objectives? Extremely weird. Oops. Forgot that brings out the gun. Is it true food supplement seventy seven has been discontinued? Advanced system. Okay, we need to get this thing for Virgil. See, he worked in biology. See that robotics? Bioscience.
have time to examine my latest reports on Batch 274. Not yet. I've been reviewing Father's plans to expand... Doc. I wonder how Welcome. the Warwick family So good to have you here. Young Dr. Wally Clayton Holdren, to 10 years old head of the now. Bioscience Division. It's remarkable I can't wait for you to see the work we're doing. So up there, it's truly think? amazing. I look forward to learning more about it. In that case, let me give you a brief overview of what we do here. As the name implies, the Bioscience Division specializes in fields of study such as botany, genetics, and medicine. Our most important directive is to ensure the health and well-being of everyone in the Institute. To that end, we cultivate highly specialized breeds of flora for use in food and medicine. We've even started to explore the idea of synthetic animal life. You probably saw the gorillas. They're really just a pet project at this point, but the potential is exciting nonetheless. Seems like there's nothing you guys can't do. With hard work and ingenuity, any challenge can be overcome. I'm sure I've taken up enough of your time as it is. But I have to ask, have you decided whether you'll join us? I'm not sure how well I'll fit in, but I'd like to give it a try. Great. I was hoping you'd say that. In any case, I imagine you'll want to continue looking around. Or, if you prefer, I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. Tell me more about those synth gorillas. On the whole, I'd say they were a success. Their behavior does generally match what our historical data says it should be. Unfortunately, we had a few early setbacks. The creatures can become suddenly aggressive, and they're quite strong. They destroyed two of their synth handlers. So now we keep them Basically, it was a freak science accident, and uh, we just turned them into gorillas. Security's too tight. Ah. Uh. Dr. Holdren's synth gorilla project is showing promising results. Liam has been trying to teach me robotics. It's more complicated than I thought. So, uh, how do you get out of this thing? You're here. You're over here. Let's see. Let's see what else I'm trying to find. It's an honor to have you here, sir. When are you going to tell me about this mysterious phase three? Advanced system. She's been at it for over two hours. What is she even testing? Nothing. At this point, she's just doing it for fun. Dr. Lee. Oh, it's you. You're not authorized to be here. I'm new around here. You must think I'm some kind of idiot. Father may have given you the keys to the castle, but I still decide who goes in and who goes out of my laboratory. So why don't you just run along and let me get back to work? Easy. I just want to talk. About what? You're obviously here for a reason, and you've already spoiled my experiment, so you might as well spit it out. I'm not here for any reason in particular. That's a load of crap, and we both know it. A Brotherhood of Steel airship arrives in the Commonwealth, you find a way to intercept our teleport signal, and now you show up at my door. I knew it was just a matter of time before your people would track me down. I've been looking over my shoulder for almost a decade, waiting for them to send someone like you to kill me. Why would we want you dead? I did some pretty sensitive work for the Brotherhood of Steel. Even though Lions let me go, there were a few others in the ranks that thought I knew too much. That's why I came to the Institute. It was the only place that I thought I'd be out of the Brotherhood's reach and still be able to do my research. Hmm. Since Father trusts you, I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt. 
I might not agree with everything he says, but I know he'd never allow harm to come my way. Say what you came here to say, and then leave me alone. You're wasting your time working for the Institute. <laughs> oh, wait a second. You're asking me to rejoin them, aren't you? Why the hell would they want me back? Did you abandon any projects you wanted to complete? You should know better than to ask me that. If they didn't tell you what I was working on, they didn't want you to know. I'm certainly not going to put my neck on the line and spread their dirty little secrets. Tell me something. Why would I possibly want to come crawling back to the Brotherhood? What reason would I have to throw away everything I've accomplished? Because I wanted to die. Father trusts me, and so should you. He trusts you because you're family. I'm not. I can't just take your word for it. I need more than that. The Brotherhood has always been straight with you. I am getting a bit tired of all the secrets around here. Sometimes I feel like Father isn't being straight with me. Like there are things I'm not supposed to know about. I don't like that. But still, how can I turn my back on all of this? I was just told to get you to come back. The Brotherhood wants me back. And the best they can do is send a robot that does nothing but follow orders? Sorry, but you're going to have to do a lot better than that. The Institute is deceiving you. So now you're just going to hurl baseless accusations to get what you want? Come on, you can do better than that. I give up. What would it take to convince you? All right, I'll play your game. I had a colleague down here, a Dr. Virgil. Several months ago, there was an accident in his lab, and he was killed. I wanted to help with the investigation, but Father had the laboratory sealed, saying that it was contaminated. The incident never sat right with me. The more I asked about it, the more oh, I he's alive, actually. reflecting my questions. If you bring me solid information on what killed him, I'll take it as a favor from the Brotherhood and consider your offer. Do we have a deal? I know this may come as a shock, but Dr. Virgil is still alive. I met him myself. <laughs> oh, please. Do you really think a cheap tactic like that is going to work on someone like me? Stop trying to avoid the legwork by lying. Either you get me the evidence, or we have nothing else to talk about. Deal? Deal. All right. Dr. Virgil's lab was in the biosciences division. I can give you a code that will get you into the section. I'd tell uh, you. Yeah. And finally, Let's get him his stupid serum. Now, for the sake of keeping up appearances, let me see that. I've been told to install a coarser chip. You're to be given full... Thank you. I'm sure that'll come in handy. Given that the relay is the only way to... Uh -huh. In case the sick... Right. Yes, come on. And speaking of... Oh, she's so me. annoying to talk to. I thought I was... We're going to the bioscience. Bioscience. Because we got nothing better to do. Is this the bioscience? So that's robotics. You idiot. We don't usually welcome outsiders. I hope you can appreciate your good fortune. Doctor. They weren't kidding. You really are here. Well, all right. I'm Allie. Allie Fillmore. You can think of me as the Institute's chief engineer. When Father told us about you, I could hardly believe it. You've been through so much, I think most people would have just given up. If you don't mind my asking, what was it that kept you going all that time? I just wanted to find my son and keep him safe. Now that you've found him, I hope you're proud of the great man he grew up to be. Now. I'll give you a quick rundown of the facilities division, and then I'll answer any questions you might have afterward. As you might guess, we keep the Institute's mechanical and electrical systems... There's clockwork. We maintain and upgrade all of the systems that make it possible to live and work in a place like this. There's a lot of machinery behind these walls that recycles the air and water, and provides power to the laboratories and quarters. The work we do might not be as exciting as some of the other departments, but it's at least as important. So. 
Now that you're here and you've spoken to Father, does that mean you're on board? Absolutely. Oh, good to hear. It'll be a Sorry, Brotherhood. I just don't feel right with them. There's a lot to take in. Plenty of things you won't find topside. If there's anything else you'd like to know about the facilities division, I'm happy to discuss it. I'm good for now. Thanks. Goodbye, then. Alright, let's go get Virgil the Serum. <laughs> Damn. Going. Just run. Yes. Yes. Oh. Looks like a blue mist. I hate these robots so much. Call me crazy. Stop grabbing for me. Oh god, it hurts. I was, uh, oh, I don't have any stim packs. Or they, uh, they unequipped for some reason. Pick all these doors.
We're going to be here forever. Aged? Poor. Sand. Where's the thing that resets it? cheating because I don't have time for this. Oh, what's up? We, we got it. Woohoo! You know, let's use this to deactivate all the, the turns. Or that. That just closes the door. God. Dr. Elliot reporting for the Bioscience Division, March 2224. We just received another batch of subjects, but as my previous report stated, we're at an impasse here. More of the same won't help. The two most promising strains of FEV have been adapted to an ideal state, but we're still missing something. I am officially echoing the team's position. The most likely progress for our research on synthetic organics requires new avenues of exploration. Additional Commonwealth subjects will not help. It's the same problem across the board. Exposure to too much radiation. We need something... Poor Virgil. Someone new. There's a proposal we'll be putting forward. I am not entirely comfortable with it, but it seems the best course.
Oh dang it, did I miss it again? Personal record, Dr. Brian Virgil. This will likely be my last recording. My requests to shut down the FEV program have repeatedly been denied. We've learned nothing useful in the last 10 years. Why does Father insist on continuing it? If he won't see reason, then I have to take matters into my own hands. What we're doing, it's not right. It needs to stop. If anyone should find this after, after I'm gone. Know that I never wanted to hurt anyone. Anyone. Yeah, yeah, you understand yeah. me? Okay, so after the main story is over with, basically what's going to happen is we're... I'm just going to continue this series. File formatted. There's still going to be parts and stuff. Except there will be, uh... Mod quests or just like... Random stuff going around. Doing stuff. Somewhere not even the coursers can find me. Be quiet. Everything that we've done. Virtual. The lives we've taken. If there is a God, may he have mercy on us all. Doctor. Took you long enough to find that evidence. Let me see what you've got. Here you go. A holotape. This better not be a waste of my time. Sorry, I need that medical pack. They lied to me. They lied to me, and I didn't even realize how far it went. All those years of loyalty. For nothing. No matter how badly it hurts, you needed to hear the truth. And for that, I thank you. I came to the Institute to get away from the Brotherhood. From the whole world. I just wanted to do my research in peace. Father took me in and gave me access to cutting-edge technology that I only dreamed existed. <laughs> I became jaded. I thought that the Institute cared, that they wanted to better mankind. <sighs> Maybe in their own twisted way they still do. But now I realize if you can't trust the people you're working for, then it's all pointless. If they lied about Dr. Virgil, who knows what else they've been lying about? Or what their plans are for my work. I'll make my way back to the Brotherhood. But I'm going to have to do it on my own. I can't take any chances being seen with you. Tell whoever sent you that they've just regained the services of Dr. Madison Lee. Alright, well. That, that was boring. <clears throat> I will be the father now. I am 
seriously thinking of heading over to robotics to knock some heads together. I'm looking forward to working with you. They're dragging their feet on the targeting package upgrades. Always be vigilant. Maybe I should take some courses with me. Send a message. Excuse me, doctor. Please don't. So, there's enough friction as it is between us and pretty much acting director of the synth retention bureau. I'll be upfront with you. We're going to be keeping a close eye on you for the near future. Despite your relation to father, you're a bit of an unknown quantity. I'm sure you understand. There won't be any issues, will there? Stay out of my way, or you'll regret it. That sounds a bit like a threat. I ain't afraid I'm sure of you. I'm just misunderstanding you, though. Threats aren't advisable for someone in your position. Now, Father has asked that I provide you with a brief overview of the Synth Retention Bureau. Our primary responsibility is the recovery of escaped synths that are hiding among the human population on the surface. If the synths want to be free, you should let them. Synths do not want. They might look like human beings, but they're machines. As to why they're escaping? That matter is currently under investigation. Our main instrument is the Courser, a third-generation synth assigned to operate on the surface. Coursers hunt down and reclaim synths that have escaped the Institute. They are highly self-sufficient, trained in combat, infiltration, and tracking. In a word, our Coursers are relentless. But I gather you know all this, since you've encountered one already. In fact, I'd very much like to know how you defeated it. Why does it matter? If there is some defect in Courser combat programming, then it must be identified and corrected. I suppose I'll have to ask Robotics to perform detailed diagnostics on the entire production run. As if we don't have enough problems. Now, unless you need something else, I'll get back to work. If you're the acting head of the ESRB, who are you filling in for? Dr. Zimmer holds that position. He's supervising the retrieval of some of the more high-profile units. In his absence, I keep things running smoothly. All right, so what do we do now? Scanning unknown identity. Clearance confirmed. Do we really need all these coursers roaming the halls? Uh, let's see. I don't want to do that. Lecture on cold fusion was nothing. I don't know where that is. Wait, I could fast travel anywhere out here, right? Let's, fo let's find out actually. We go to Diamonds. Oh, I left some power armor at Diamond City. Oh, I can't from this location. Okay, well. We're up here, we might as well. Broken. Broken.
No way to pick this. There's no there's no way for me to fast travel out of here. We gotta do this stupid brotherhood thing. <laughs> Finally, we can do it. We just had to do that mission. Alright, let's go do the mission for Piper now. Already marked. It isn't. Well, we better mark it. Actually, yeah, we can just go there. Let's go give our story. Alright, let's give our stupid story to Piper. Hey, Piper. Head my way? You you didn't even have a match. Okay, I want to tell you my story. My way. Sure, let's go. Let's go. Will do. Hey, hey, hey. You say the word. What, what the hell are you doing? Hey. I want to talk. You holding up, Blue? What the fuck, game? Okay, there we go. Why are you calling me that? Cause you're a vault dweller. I know you're not wearing the blue jumpsuit right now, but the pit boy and the fish out of water look, dead giveaways. So here's the deal. I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. Besides, I'm already following you around. <laughs> Might as well get some quotes while we're at it. All right, Piper. I'm in. Good. All right, it took us forever to do the goddamn interview. So, I know you're from a vault. How would you describe your time on the inside? My family and I were frozen. 
I didn't spend much time in the vault. W wait, <laughs> they boxed you up in a fridge? The whole time? Are you saying you were alive before the war? Yes. I'm over 200 years old. <laughs> oh my god. The man out of time. So, you've seen the Commonwealth, Diamond City. How does it compare to your old life? Uh, it sucks. You're all living in rusty shacks, killing each other. Oh my god, the smell. Okay. Well, that's gonna be a fun one to quote. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the Commonwealth. Everyone wants to pretend it just doesn't happen. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? No matter how much you want to give up, don't. You have to have hope that you'll see them again. Or at least, that you'll know the truth. A strong note to end on, Blue. Thanks. That's everything. It's gonna take some time to put this all together, but I think your story is gonna give Diamond City plenty to talk about. Anyway, we should probably get going. Uh, no, you're staying here. That's what we're doing. Uh, okay. command. Point the way, wait. Wait there. Okay, I'll be here then. Wait, Piper. Something you need? This it's time we each went our own way. Sure thing. I'll head home. All right, so that part of the story is done. Most folks are just looking for a hand. All we gotta do. Smell like you've been above ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now that now you've had a chance to see the Institute firsthand, what do you think? You've got technology here that I never dreamed possible. It's amazing. I'm glad you can appreciate what we've accomplished. None of it has been easy. Ultimately, all our knowledge and resources are focused on a single goal. The goal is best summarized by our motto. Mankind. Redefined. Unfortunately, no advancement comes without occasional setbacks. As remarkable as our synths are, they can be... dangerous without proper supervision. The superior synth mind and body attempting to wrestle with something approaching free will can be a recipe for chaos. If the synths are intelligent and self-aware, then they have a right to free will. However closely they may approximate human behavior, they are still... our creations. When you see what I have to show you, I think you'll agree that we know what is best for our synths. A rogue synth has taken over the Raider Gang at Libertalia. His memories have been erased, and his identity altered. He believes he's a man named Gabriel. Under his leadership, the Raiders have taken many innocent lives. I've dispatched a courser to Libertalia. I'd like you to join him and reclaim that synth. We'll bring that synth home. That would be best for everyone. Now you should get moving. Many people are in danger, and a delay could cost lives.
greetings. As the Institute's requisition vendor, I can provide supplies for your missions on the surface. Yes. How may I assist you today? Let's see what you got. Oh, how much money do I have? Oh, that sucks. Uh, hold on. Because this is a modded series. There, that's a maximum I'm gonna give myself. Hey there. You are authorized to access my stock of supplies. Sure, sure. let's take a look. I will take that. Can I actually wear these? I am naked now with a fedora on. All systems nominal. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, I need to buy some clothes. Hey. Requisition clearance granted. How may I help you? I'll take a look, take a look. sure. I need clothes. God, I look like the guy from CS Miami. Let's not wear that. Let's just wear the helmet.
Alright, that is actually gonna do it for me. I don't feel like recording anymore. This is probably one of the shortest videos. But, short is good. Anyway, I'll see you guys later for part 9. Goodbye.